Hey guys, hope you're doing amazing today. I just got back from SHOT Show and I'm gonna kinda go through my EDC for you, what I carried at SHOT. Most of it's what I carry in everyday life as well. So if you didn't know, my full-time job is actually a sales rep. I'm in the industry and the homestead is kind of our way of being self-sufficient. So it's kind of our part-time thing. Okay, so first and foremost, obviously, my badge holder. That you can't go anywhere without because you're not getting into shot without your badge. Obviously, I took my thing out, but this one here is made by Miltex Tactical, a Canadian company. They do some custom work with nylon, hypalon, all that good stuff. And you gotta have Velcro, obviously, on your badge holder so you can put your badges on there, stuff to identify you, like Team Canada, as well as being able to trade patches as well. There's patches everywhere, so you wanna make sure you have some Velcro on there to be able to carry them around. My phone, obviously being a sales rep, I can't go anywhere without my phone. I can contact my clients, suppliers, make sure we're on time for meetings. I've got my emails in there as well. I can also connect and have files on there as well. So if I need to download something or send, say one of our sales specials to a client, I can do that instantly. My watch. This is a Citizen Eco Drive, and I love this one because I can change the hour easily depending on the city I'm in. I can turn the dial, switch it to a different city, different time zone, and the watch automatically adjusts. It's also solar, so I don't have to worry about ever replacing the batteries in this. And the nice thing about carrying a watch when you're doing SHOT Show or meetings or anything like that is you're not looking at your phone to check the time. So say you meet someone in the hallway too, and you wanna catch up, but you're on your way to a meeting, looking at your watch is a good way to give them a hint that you're kind of on a tight schedule, rather than the phone, which says, I'm not interested in what you're saying. <laughs> pens and pencils. I always carry at least two pens and my pencil. I like writing stuff down or jotting notes that kind of thing, or doodling ideas with a pencil. If you wanna draw, say, a sketch of something you're thinking in your head, the pencil's a nice way to do it. Two pens at minimum. Obviously, if you're in sales and you give your pen to one of your clients or a supplier or something to jot a note down or write how many of the, say, you're selling something and they're writing down how many quantity they want, there's a lot of times they'll walk off with a pen without even you or them realizing. So you always wanna keep as one as a backup for yourself. Obviously notebooks. This is kind of a personal note one. So if I have ideas for myself walking around or talking to someone and get ideas that way, it goes in this. If I have to remember something that's not applicable to shot or my job, it goes into this one. This one here, obviously I wrote down notes that are applicable to my job. For example, new products that have come out that I gotta make sure I tell my clients about or if I need to follow up on something with a client, those things go into that notebook. I carry two knives down to shot, uh, one more dressy, uh, one less dressy. So if I'm wearing something nice like uh, my suit or sport jacket, this little Boker Magnum, folder will go into my suit jacket. So it's a little nicer to carry around. It doesn't have a clip, so I'm not sticking it into my dress pants and screwing up my dress pants. This one's a CRKT little folder I got from an industry friend. I used to have a Kershaw that I really liked that was assisted. However, obviously when I woke up one morning a little late one year ago and went through customs, or went through security, they grabbed the knife because I forgot to put it in my carry-on. So now I have this one that I carry around. I still want to find another assisted one. I really like assisted. I'm getting old, easier to open. Shoehorn, not your average item that most people carry in their EDC. However, for me, if I'm walking around all day at SHOT Show and your feet are starting to get sore, I like to take my shoes off sometimes, you know, out in a corridor, maybe sit down, take your shoes off, let your feet air out, maybe give them a little massage or something. 
getting your dress shoes back on after your feet start to swell maybe a bit or they're sweaty or something like that. The shoehorn is perfect for being able to get your dress shoes back on. A little Surefire flashlight. I love this one. I've had this one forever. It's not an LED, so it does heat up if you have it on for a while. Uh, I want to try and find a new EDC flashlight that is LED. This one's not as bright as the LEDs as well, so I will need to upgrade it, but I do love this one just for its size. It works all the time. It's waterproof. It just it's just a solid flashlight and obviously if you're out till one two three in the morning at vegas there are times you might need a flashlight Leroux armadillo i got this years and years ago at shot and i love carrying this around because there's always beer at shot always beer that you need to open if you're getting tired from playing on your phone or writing stuff down <laughs> there's been the odd time where i've had trouble opening a beer bottle yes it's true so this does help the cool thing about this too is i can trade it for something that i might find even cooler i'd rather not trade it but if i do find something that i think is even cooler or more useful it's a good option to have to be able to trade and last my wallet this one has the R R F I D blocker so I can keep my business cards in there, my hotel key, my credit cards for work and personal and not have to worry about someone trying to steal it with one of those scanners and stuff. Always a good option to have at a show or in the city when you're walking around taking people out. So guys, that was kind of my EDC at shot as well. Most of that stuff I carry every day. I don't carry the shoehorn every day, obviously, but that will either stay in my pockets, my suit jacket pocket, or in my laptop bag. It's always nice to have. Usually stuff comes in handy. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video and go. be sure to go check out this one as well. You might like it. Thanks again, guys. Love you.